ask that independent review, uh, kind of independent assessment uh, at all times. It is also true that as I'm looking at the team going forward, kind of any and all options of, of helping the team remain on the table. But at this moment in time, I don't believe that uh, the, the pivot here kind of uh, certainly uh, kind of necessitates kind of a totally independent look because I think the transition has been very organic and with the right type of oversight uh, from independent uh, viewpoints such as uh, the Standing Review Board. David, I'll give it uh, to you for your question. Yeah, thank you very much, Thomas. Um, uh, it's a really interesting question, if I understand it, is could uh, somehow Rosalind Franklin Rover be adapted to, to support the sample fetch, uh, sorry, so the my sample return campaign? Uh, it's an interesting thought experiment, but uh, when you start to think about it, the answer is, is fairly quickly no, because uh, Rosalind Franklin is built as a kind of mobile science laboratory uh, but with its key feature being exploration in three dimensions, i.e. the drill going two meters below the surface in order to acquire samples that are not damaged by radiation, uh, and therefore put those samples into an astrobiology laboratory. And all of that has been built and integrated and tested um, in quite extraordinary uh, cleanliness environment. Whereas on the other hand, the purpose of the sample fetch rover is not to carry out science itself, but travel rapidly, quickly, go and fetch samples and come back again. And it would be a little bit uh, like, uh, yeah, completely repurposing and redesigning and rebuilding. So it, it doesn't make um, uh, uh, sense in the, the context of the Mars sample return campaign. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Uh, we do still have quite a few questions. I'm hoping we can get to, to three more, uh, and we are prioritizing those who haven't had a chance to ask a question yet. Um, but uh, please go on to the next question. Anyone who doesn't get a chance to ask a question here, we will, of course, try to answer your questions offline. Uh, but for now, let's go to the next question. Okay, our next question comes from Paul Marsh with Aerospace America. Your line is not open. Hi. Um, China has said it will bring home samples two years ahead of NASA and ESA from Mars. Um, it strikes me that removing a whole rover is quite a feat in streamlining the, mis the mission, as you've done getting rid of the fetch rover. So is it possible that as the decade moves on, you might be able to streamline it further and match or, or beat the Chinese in getting samples back? So I think the first thing I want to say is uh, that, uh, of course, uh, uh, I, I mean, I'm sure I speak for the international team here is that we uh, welcome any and all investments worldwide on the peaceful exploration of outer space, uh, and especially as uh, these uh, explorations are done kind of uh, with the principles of openness uh, and so forth. And, and so, so uh, I have to tell you that uh, uh, I don't know much uh, in detail mm -hmm. about uh, any other design uh, kind of outside of the one that we're working on. Uh, probably read the same story you did, uh, but I really don't uh, yes. know much. As to the flexibility in the future, I think I'm going to kick it to uh, uh, Jeff or uh, uh, or Richard just to kind of uh, talk about that. So what, what I will say is, is, is our architecture, you know, beginning with perseverance is, is in underway. We've, we've collected samples and then, and what we're doing is we've built an architecture and the complexity is driven by the desire to accommodate the need to go where the science takes us. And, and that's what perseverance has, has successfully been doing thus far is, is, is going right. to the places where the science team uh, b believes there are, are worthy samples to to bring back, and it's it's that complexity that that kind of drives our our mission arc. La pregunta original que hicieron ahora fue sobre el, la comparación con China. Uh, moving on to our next question. Our next question comes from Anton Munir. Your line is now open. Yes, hello. Uh, Una pregunta de los que están en el chat para poder realizarla. The, the two helicopters, uh, do you plan to bring back the same weight of samples than uh, it was uh, with the, the fetch? Dice que van a poner ahora dos helicópteros para levantar las muestras del Perseverance. Yes, the the plan is to still have the capability to bring back the the full number of 30 samples. 
um, the OS, the orbiting sample canister that we're taking with us to bring the samples back uh, has space in it for 30 samples, uh, and that's what we're, we're going to bring back with the Fetch rover and what we will bring back whether Perseverance delivers it or the helicopters um, retrieve them. Thank you. Thank you. We have time for just one more question, uh, and then we will close up today. But our last question for the day, please. Our last question comes from Daniel Cleary with Science Magazine. Sorry. Your line is now open. Hi. Thanks, everyone. Um, no. I just had another question about the number of sample containers. You hey, say me? that uh, Perseverance yeah. is currently okay. making duplicate samples, so it ha keeps one uh, within itself and puts another in depots on the ground. If it continues to do that, doubling everything, it won't have end up with 30 carrying around 30 samples because there's a total of 43 oh. you said i just this you know, these numbers me? don't seem to add up how are we going to have 30 samples yes, I'm perseverance? could i take that uh this is mini wadwa um msl okay. principal scientist um yeah so the plan is sí. to collect the duplicate samples I don't know, for me. The Jezero, Hello. Uh, Fader campaign during that phase of the mission and um, so up to this point, we have... Hey, no, sir. This is Daniel Rivera. This is Daniel. This is the one from the question, not the, the one who spoke. ...which is essentially blank, um, help us with sort of assessing blank values. And then we've got, at the current time, 10 that have already been... Actually, the 11th sample was just successfully uh, sealed and stowed just, just, just now, actually. So we've got 11, and we're going to be... And all of those... The rock samples that we currently have, they are essentially duplicates, so two samples per different rock type. And so the 11th one will have a 12th one that will be of the same rock, hopefully. And so what we plan to do, uh, or what Perseverance will do, is to deposit a suite of something like 12. Bueno, tengo una llamada, tengo que cortar. Es una llamada médica. Seguramente corte. Disculpen si corto, pero tengo una llamada médica esperando. Tubes uh, to carry with it as it goes along, and those from from that point on, though the plan is not to collect duplicates. And so once that first initial uh, depot is situated, beyond that there is not a plan to collect duplicates. And so the 30 tubes that will be carried on board Perseverance will uh, will thereafter essentially consist of the f sort of 10 duplicates that we have from within Jezero, and then the additional sort of 20 or so samples will be sort of new samples that will be collected beyond Jezero Crater. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Can I ask a follow-up question? Uh, if that's the case, that you're going to be traveling around with 30 samples um, in Perseverance, what happens if there's some fault with Perseverance y sigue usando, sigue usando mi espacio para hacer preguntas, yo no puedo creerlo. Someone here de Teleconference is hearing me. That's my place to ask. You're asking me, this is Rani Rivera. Exactly what you said, right? That the plan will be, there's two options there, right? One is that if Perseverance has a problem, uh, we can uh, position it and, and have it put the remaining tubes that it has, whether or not it be 30 or, you know, however many it has at that point, it can drop all the remaining tubes on the ground in a second, in a second uh, depot. Uh, and right. so that's, that would be the way to, and then the helicopters would go get it from, from that spot, um, picking them up one at a time, as I said, and taking them back to the lander. If under the worst case, scenario, and we don't really think there are very many credible or almost any credible scenarios where Perseverance will flat out stop operating uh, with the, the sample tubes still inside of it, then we could send the helicopters and the lander, uh, the sample tubes the lander, me to the, no me entra, no me entra. No le entra, uh, dice. depot no, no. and get the first 12 as many. Para, uh, a ver. Hola, Does that make sense? Hola, hola. And we are out of time. Uh, 